What is up guys, Tasif here. So just the other day, I got asked a very interesting question. Which DPS spec in Classic Wrath has the highest skill cap? And conversely, which DPS spec in Classic Wrath has the lowest skill cap? Now, this is a really hard question to answer, and I already know this will be a controversial video because no one wants to hear that their spec is low skill cap, but I think we can actually use some data taken from Warcraft logs to try to answer it in the best, most holistic way possible. Right now, there are just over 20 million DPS logs uploaded for the last couple weeks of Tier 7 content at the start of Wrath of the Lich King, split up between 22 different DPS specs that we're going to take a look at today. Now, Warcraft Logs does something really cool in how it gives us this data as an aggregate. It gives us quartile-based performance metrics for every single DPS spec, which we can use to make comparative statements like the difference from Feral Druid's lower quartile to upper quartile is greater than the difference from the Ret Paladin's lower quartile to upper quartile. What this essentially means is that there is a much greater difference between bad and good performance with Feral Druids than there is for Red Paladins. Now, I use Feral Druid as an extreme in my example here, rather than Subtlety Rogue, because there's only around 2,000 Subtlety Rogue logs in total, which is around 0.01% of the logs we're referencing in total. So I'm not really comfortable taking Subtlety Rogues into consideration for this conversation. Sorry to all the Subtlety Rogues out there. Anyway, does a wider quartile range actually mean that one spec has a higher skill ceiling or higher skill cap than another spec? I would say pretty much yeah. If you are a god tier Feral Druid, you're the best Feral Druid in the world, you are performing leagues beyond a trash can Feral Druid. Whereas if you're a god tier Ret Paladin, you are much closer in performance to the trash can Ret Paladins down at the bottom. This just means that this spec is less accommodating and less rewarding of insane high skill gameplay, not necessarily that the players of this spec are all bad. This ranking also is in no way reflective of what spec does the most damage or has the highest DPS, only what specs seem to have the highest skill ceiling or skill cap. So to throw some specs out there, I'd say that the top three DPS specs in regards to skill ceiling or skill cap are Feral Druid, Combat Rogue, and then Unholy Death Knight. Then that the lowest three DPS specs in regards to skill ceiling or skill cap are Ret Paladin, Arms Warrior, and Elemental Shaman. Anyway guys, give me your opinion on this, especially those of you that play multiple classes and multiple specs. Personally, I've played Feral Druid in the past, and I play Warlock now, and I'm 100% certain that Feral Druid is more difficult than Warlock, and you guys know that I have a Warlock bias. But make sure to drop a comment down below the video, like the video while you're down there, subscribe for more content if you enjoyed the video as well, check the bio down there for all my links, go find me on Twitch, drop a follow there, I appreciate it, and also, go buy some Power Gum. And as always, guys, stay safe.